Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 16th of 2022. Well, it is titled the observable universe. So what do we see here? Well, essentially, we see everything. This is the entire universe from our solar system out to the cosmic background radiation at the very edge of the universe about almost 14 billion years ago. Now, what we can see here, and if we look at the interior portion, we may recognize a number of those things. And the first sections in there are, of course, our own solar system. And that's our sun there at the center. And of course, we see the planets, Earth, and Venus, and Saturn, and Jupiter, as well as the other planets scattered around there. In the next ring beyond that, we start to see uh, some of the other objects and those are some of the nearby stars. Now I realize that some of these are a little difficult to read just because of the size of the annotations. If you use the link within the description here, you can actually go to the regular website. And there are links there to even higher resolution images, where you can read the annotations much more easily. So out beyond our solar system, we start to see the stars. These are the relatively nearby stars within our own Milky Way galaxy. So those are some of the more prominent stars. And as you look around, you may be able to recognize things like the stars in Orion out to the lower right hand side, as well as many other bright stars within that region. And then up a little further, you will see the Milky Way galaxy and we start to see some of the nearby galaxies such as Andromeda near that. And then in that next ring, we see again, the relatively nearby galaxies here. And as we get further out, of course, the galaxies have to get smaller and smaller. And we see them becoming filaments of material. So galaxies will group into clusters, which group into super clusters, which group into great filaments and the voids in between them are almost completely empty space with very few galaxies present there. Most of the galaxies being concentrated into these filaments of material. And as we go even further out, we're getting out towards the edge of the observable universe. And as far back as we can see would be the cosmic microwave background, which occurred nearly 14 billion years ago, shortly after the Big Bang. And that was material released when matter and uh, light separated. So before that time, they were linked together. Once they separated, the universe became transparent. And that's when the cosmic background radiation was released. And we see that now as a dull microwave light coming from every direction in the universe. Now, of course, what do we mean by observable universe? Well, there's only a certain part of the universe that is visible to us. So we consider what we say our universe, our un observable universe is only a portion of the entire universe, which may actually go out much larger than this. But we simply cannot see it because light has not had time to travel from those great distances. So if our universe is about 14 billion years old, and there was something 15 billion light years from us, it would still need to travel the light would need to travel for a billion years to reach us. So our universe, our, our visible universe may be only a portion of the entire universe. Now whether there are other universes or part of a multiverse is a good question, and not something that we can easily answer at this point. So that was our picture of the day for March 16th of 2022. It was titled The Observable Universe. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.